Hi all, this is Skate, and what you're looking at right now is them opening the floodgates at Insomnia and one cameraman just standing in the middle. And this went on for a good half an hour, literally thousands of people pouring through that one door. And it has been a fantastic four days, but I am knackered now. But I had a day's rest when I got home and then I thought I would share the experience with you guys. So, what is Insomnia? Well, it is the biggest gaming festival, event, convention, or whatever you want to call it, in the UK. And this is Wargaming's first appearance at this event. So, they brought along their Wargaming truck, and as you can see there, the PCs. Uh, you've got World of Warships, World of Tanks on PC. Inside the truck, there was PS4s, and by here was the Xboxes. Aside from that, they had a virtual reality booth, and they also had a boatload of goodies to give away. Um, I believe it was over a thousand t-shirts and goodie bags. And all people needed to do was get two kills in any game, in any of the games there, and got themselves a goodie bag. So they literally left like hotcakes. And obviously where there is wargaming, there are contributors. Um, it was myself in attendance, it was uh, Earl Grey who plays World of Warships, and there was Jack the Ripper from Console. And obviously, of course, the legend that is Jingles. That's not Jingles, that's Earl Grey. <laughs> um, Jingles is actually having a couple of games on World of Warships by here. And the other guys I need to give a shout out to is Filan and Chris Santos, who are both community managers in Wargaming, and pretty much we spent our entire weekend together basically having a laugh and obviously chatting with a bunch of people playing World of Tanks. And that's pretty much what I did with all of my four days. Uh, literally all day I spent on this booth with the rest of the guys and we would help the players basically play in the games. Um, new people who have never played before, we'd show them what to do. Players who have played before, we'd just chat about the game. And we did everything we could to make sure every person we spoke to on the games got a goodie bag from that corner there. <laughs> they literally had loads of stuff so from that perspective it was our job to empty them out <laughs> that was literally what we did is we helped as many people as we could get those goodie bags and obviously make some very happy people um it was very surreal at points though i mean we we're all there helping on the different platforms showing people what to do who are new to the game but there was this one kid playing on pc and he was being tutored by none other than the Mighty Jingles. And this kid had no idea who he was, no idea how to play the game, and to everybody else who plays World of Tanks, that would have been a massive honour. <laughs> so we're just watching this little kid get tutored on how to play this Churchill 3, and basically nailing it because Jingles was behind him, telling him and showing him what to do. But obviously it wasn't just wargaming at this event, there were tons of different companies. I mean, Game bought a pirate ship. A, a pirate ship <laughs> and this this what you see right now is one hall there were two halls like this and there were tons of different youtubers there there were tons of different gaming companies and it was a very nice experience hmm nice um okay <laughs> it was epic one kid very bravely let his mum have a go on the virtual reality which was the booth behind us um, I think he quickly <laughs> he quickly came to regret it. <laughs> she started bringing in a crowd, basically, and people started crowding around just to watch this woman on the virtual reality. And this is but a snippet of what she did for around 15 minutes. So I'll shut up for a moment, turn the background volume up, and you can basically laugh at what we did as well.
It was highly hysterical for us, uh, but I really feel sorry for her kid, whoever he was. <laughs> he just disappeared. Now, aside from things like the virtual reality, I decided to have a walk around before the event opened so I can have a, a good look at things. Now, my daughter is a huge Minecraft nut. Um, the game personally frustrates me beyond a joke. But as I couldn't take my daughter with me, my weekend challenge was to get hold of that giant creeper which you just saw there. <laughs> Can you imagine her face if I came back with a five foot creeper? So myself and Jack the Ripper were on this mission to try and get this creeper for her. Sadly though, <laughs> the events manager said it's not possible to literally take it. However much fun it would have been to just pick it up and run, it's a bit too big and obvious. Instead, Minecraft gave me lots of merchandise to give to my daughter, which was just a big bonus there. In fact, after that I managed to walk away with tons of different merchandise from Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, all for free. <laughs> so I can't complain. It was a fantastic weekend. And that wasn't just in the event. As I said, I mentioned uh, obviously the other community contributors. We all went out for food every night after the event finished. There were a couple of parties on as a result of insomnia. Although truth be told, we went to one where apparently years and years and Chase and Status were playing. We walked in and we saw a guy waving around glow sticks. The second we walked in, I think we stayed for two minutes and left as a result. Each to their own at the end of the day, but glow sticks and stuff like that ain't really my scene. <laughs> but for those interested, this is what it was like. Now after being on my feet all day and being up from Friday morning, I got up and drove up to Birmingham, uh, which is a three hour drive, picked up Earl Grey on the way. So I was on my feet and I'd been up an awful lot. Ah, the last thing I wanted to be doing was this. <laughs> but we were told there was an exhibitors party, uh, which was a private party the next night. So instead we went to that. Now this one was a lot smaller, a lot quieter, and it had an open bar. Which made Jack the Ripper and Earl Grey very happy men, as you can see there. <laughs> I gotta say, by the way, those two are absolute legends in my book. And we did have a fantastic night, as you can see by Earl Grey by there. But irrelevant, on with the show. Now obviously as well as new players there were some experienced players who obviously popped in to have a go on the games and some of them had some epic games and those guys who came in and just had some flat out outrageous games were given gifts by Wargaming specifically a T3488 that guy on the screen right now earned one by doing 3300 damage in his Black Prince as you can see only a glimpse of anyway, there is a huge amount of medals including his mastery on there. He blocked nearly 5,000 damage and he did over a thousand assistance. This little man got himself five kills in one of the first time he has ever played the game so he was obviously very chuffed. This guy did 7,200 damage and 4,000 assistance damage in his STB1. He then had a go on PS4 and in the barn did over 7,300 damage as well. And for those who didn't see the live stream, I had the honor of being interviewed by Jingles himself, which was, well, again, a very surreal experience. Jingles interviewing me, that's the wrong way round. It's, <laughs> I should be interviewing him, he's the celeb. Um, but it was the same, obviously uh, Earl Grey felt the same and so did Jack the Ripper, but again, we still had a fantastic time. And to be honest, we spent most of the four days laughing, having fun and having fun with the community. And then the photographer wanted a photo of us all, and we all went for a cuddle like this, or if you're Welsh, a kutch. <laughs> and apparently this isn't normal. This is the normal pose, apparently, when you're having a photo taken. 
Um, I personally preferred the cuddles. <laughs> and in case you didn't see his top clearly, <laughs> this is the best tank t-shirt I have ever seen. As you can see, Jingles is impersonating the film Fury by showing that there. Anyone's mind who went elsewhere, well, that's your mind. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> right, that's me done for this video. Probably missing tons of information, forgot to include tons of information. But nonetheless, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I had a fantastic weekend. It was a pleasure spending it with the staff, with Earl Grey and Jack the Ripper and Jingles. And it was an absolute pleasure meeting a big bunch of you guys, whether it be players who are new or players who are experienced. Um, I know some of the people I met there were subscribers as well. So, that's me done for this video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.